Chapter 23, Allison. Allison had pretty blonde hair and always wore a sky blue windbreaker. Her windbreaker was the same color as her eyes. She was best friends with Rondi. Rondi had blonde hair too, and she was missing her two front teeth. Allison had all of her teeth. Allison used to say that she knocked Rondi's teeth out. Allison was very pretty, so all the boys in Mrs. Jewel's class teased her, especially Jason. But Allison said, leave me alone or I'll knock your teeth out like I did Rondi's. The boys didn't bother her after that. One day, Allison brought a tangerine for lunch. She took the peel off in one piece. Miss Much, the lunch teacher, walked up to her. Allison, may I have your tangerine, she asked. Miss Mush always gave food to the children, so Allison was happy to give her the tangerine. Miss Mush shoved it in her mouth and swallowed it in less than four seconds. Allison left the lunchroom and walked down to the library. The lunchroom was on the 15th story. The library was on the 7th. Allison always had her books. She went to the library because it was nice and quiet in there. The librarian walked up to Allison. What are you reading, she asked. Allison told her the name of the book. That sounds like a good book, said the librarian. I've never read that one. May I borrow it? The librarian always lent books to children, so Allison was glad to be able to return the favor. She gave the librarian the book and walked down the stairs outside to the playground. All of Allison's friends were playing freeze tag. Allison didn't feel like playing. She reached out into her pocket of her sky blue windbreaker and took out a tennis ball. She bounced it a couple of times on the ground. Lewis came up to her. Hi, Allison, he said. May I play with your tennis ball? Lewis always gave balls to the children. Allison happily gave hers to Lewis. Lewis threw the ball all the way to the other side of the playground. Then he went chasing after it. Allison didn't feel like doing anything. Jason ran up and tagged her. You're frozen, he said. Get out of here before I knock your teeth out, said Allison. Jason shrugged his shoulders and left. Allison went back outside and up the 30 flights of stairs to Mrs. Jewel's room. The lunch period wasn't over yet, but Allison didn't feel like doing anything else. She had given her food to the lunch teacher, her book to the librarian, her ball to the yard teacher. She went inside to her classroom. Mrs. Jules was there. Oh, Allison, I'm glad you're here, said Mrs. Jules. I'm having trouble with an arithmetic problem. Can you help? Sure, said Allison. Mrs. Jules always helped the children with problems. Allison was help, happy to help her. How do you spell chair? asked Miss Jules. C-H-A-I-R, said Allison. Yes, that's right, said Mrs. Jules. I knew it wasn't C-H-A-R-E, but I couldn't remember what it was. That's not an arithmetic problem, said Allison. That's spelling. Yes, you're right. Again, said Mrs. Jules. I always get those two mixed up. The bell rang. The lunch period was over. Allison could hear the other children running up the stairs. Allison, said Mrs. Jules, you learned a very important secret today, and I don't want you to tell any of the other children, not even Rondi. What was that? asked Allison. She didn't even know what secrets she had learned. She loves secrets. You learn that children are really smarter than their teachers, said Mrs. Jules. Oh, that's no secret, said Allison. Everybody knows that.